Jump off. Two grapplers, but like I said, Gus has got that reach, and so I think he's going to try to do what he can and keep it standing, but like I said, he's happy going to the ground, too. Either way for Gus. Brad, I just don't know Brad as well. Yeah, I've never seen Brad fight, but uh, talked to a couple of his teammates, and uh, I guess he's got a heck of a right. And Brad goes for that single leg. He's going for it. Yeah, he's looking for it. He got him now. Yeah. He's looking for some top position. Gus Looking has got good ground pound. You got to be careful of those arm bars. Gus has got long legs. Gus is doing good control from the ground here. Like I said earlier, Gus is happy on the ground. Well, he gets aggressive off his back too. He likes to throw uh, arm bar attacks and, and triangle choke attacks. And well, he's, he's got those for that arm bar again. Looking for an arm bar with those long legs. He can kind of position his hips in positions that he can put him in positions other players have a hard time dealing yeah. with. Looks like we got some blood from somebody already. I see a little blood. Might be from Brad. Brad's on top. He's got the black trunks. Gus is on the bottom. Once again, Gus is a Kalispell product, originally from Big Fork. And uh, Brad's originally from Whitefish. So uh, a couple of local boys giving us a good show so like far. Going for the, uh, and Brad gives Gus a big slam. Looks but like Gus is trying to lock that triangle. Up. I'm telling you, Gus is really good at this triangle. Brad's in trouble. Brad's got to shake him off. He's posturing up, but I don't know if he's got the strength. It's going to be hard to do. You know, Gus doesn't have that leg quite perpendicular, but it's pretty close. <laughs> Gus has got that leg length. He's got that arm. He's, he's twerking that arm. Bar now. He might switch to an arm bar. That's a long time to hang in there for Brad. But he got his head out. Wonderful escape. Now he's on top. This is going to be a hard one for the judges. Uh, now Brad's getting some good strikes in there, but Gus is uh, fighting really good. Looks like Brad's got a heck of a cut over his head, yep. over his right eye, left eye. Gus has got his leg in between there. That's just keeping Brad's hips from uh, controlling him. Yeah, he's got a little butterfly on, on the belly there instead of inside the leg, so it looks like he's going back to full guard maybe. Like I said, Gus is really offensive off his back with those long appendages. Brad's a tough guy, though. He's taking some good shots. He's dripping a little blood there, and he's he's working and working, trying to work, looking up. Yeah, I think we're going to see Gus. He's going to transition from armbar to triangle. Yeah, Brad's got a posture up. He may even want to get out of there. Well, you know, Brad's doing a lot of work right now. You can you can notice his mouth is starting to open a little bit. Yeah. He's starting to gas for a little bit of air. Yeah, both guys are really working hard, John Paul. This should be a good fight. These are five-minute rounds. This is a belt belt fight. And this these guys, the, uh, this is not their first time, so they know what they're doing here. Yep. This is for that 185-pound fight force belt. Looks like uh, Gus is working uh, working on armbar again. Looks like he's got it. That armbar is going to... Not deep enough. Not maybe. deep enough. No, nah, I don't think so. Well, that elbow. Oh, if Brad can, pull, Brad can pull that elbow in or pull himself to that elbow, he'll be all right. So Brad pulled himself to his elbow, so he could take that, took the pressure off his arm. There's kind of two ways out when you got that arm like that. You can pull yourself to the elbow or pull the elbow to you. Gus is going to keep shooting for that. It's going to get a little That's harder. Side control. That's what you want. That's what uh, Brad's going to want to do a little more is that side control. That's going to keep him out of harm's way from those long legs. But uh, here again, Gus is shrimping nice and trying to take the back, trying to sneak out and take the back, trying to pop his head out. But uh, looks like Brad uh, recognized it and staying heavy and posturing down. Now the strikes are coming. So Brad being that wrestler, he's going for that single leg again. Looks like uh, looks like Gus was going for a little guillotine action there. Brad's kind of back and forth there a little bit, wasn't it? Yeah, but Brad's got his head pretty low. It's going to be hard to get that guillotine from so low. Nice. nice sweep. That was a beautiful takedown. That's going to go a long way, but right away into the triangle. Yeah, Gus transitioned so quickly. That was a very good sweep from Brad. But unfortunately, he transitions right in that triangle. But so now he's spending most of his time just defending against these these armbar and triangle attacks. He's doing it successfully, but he's not getting a lot of forward progress because he's defending, defending, defending. He's got good side control, and I agree with you. He should try to stay in side control if he can. But Gus, he's got a limber back. He's got limber hips. He's able to get his knees in between he and 
yeah. and Brad. Yep, yep. I think we're getting down to the end of the mat, uh, the round, excuse me, not the match. We got three rounds. Yep, that's a 10 second signal. This could be a hard one to fight, uh, hard fight to score, John Paul. Uh, obviously, Gus was on the bottom most of the fight, but he, he was really attacking with those submissions. Yep. Brad controlled the fight from the top. It was a great fight. We got a little bl blood going. You know, I think both those guys stayed inside their wheelhouse very successfully. Gus kept going triangle and then an arm bar back and forth. Uh, Brad was able to keep the pressure on him. Brad's a little bit heavier guy. Uh, did a really good job. I think this would be a really tough one to yeah, call. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one to call. Let's see what happens in round two, what kind of conditioning these guys have. Looks like there's a little blood on the on the mat. Uh, our referee uh, and our ring personnel are wiping it down. So, Scotty, if you had to call that, how would you put it? I think I'd have to give it a little bit to Brad just because he controlled the top a little bit. But I have to also say there could be, uh, yeah, you know, an argument could be made for Gus's uh, submission attempts off the bottom there. He really well, attempted some great stuff. And he actually caught uh, Brad in a couple things that I'm kind of surprised Brad got out of. So, well, uh, and I think that's, the, that's just the issue that you and I judge these things quite a bit. And see, I'm just a little bit on the other side of the fence. I'm giving it just a little bit to Gus because he transitioned so well from triangle to armbar. So that's what the judges are wrestling, the same thing you and I are saying. Yep. It yep. can kind of, this might be a split decision on this first round for sure. Yep. It's going to be a tough one to score. I think, uh, I think it's anybody's fight. Absolutely. I think Gus needs to get a little striking going because uh, he's getting tired and they're getting real sweaty. It's going to be a little harder for those submissions once you get a little more sweaty. No question about it. Gus, is, he's, he's real fluid about that, but he's going to have a little more difficulty hanging on to, to Brad as, as they sweat up a little bit here. And that blood's not going to help either. Yeah, looks like Brad's corner really cleaned him up. Uh, doesn't look like he's bleeding too much anymore. So whoever's in his corner did a good job of stopping the blood. And uh, they both look like they're ready to go. Second round, they don't look like they're that much worse for the wear. So, yep. uh, let's see what happens. We got a little bit of moisture on the mat there. That can be dangerous. We don't want to see him slip. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Round number two, Brad Watrud in the black trunks out of Williston. And you're looking there at Gus Nolte, SPGI out of Kalispell, Montana. Round number two, anybody's fight? The crowd is loving it, John Paul. Here we go, Scotty. Starting off with a leg kick. Oh, oh. Maybe a little low kick. Yep, 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 yep. Cal is going to do the right thing, stop the clock, and give the rep, the give the players a time to recover. Looked like they were both kind of half uh, half throwing front kicks there, and uh, yeah, Brad was just checking to make sure Gus had his groin cup yeah. on. Looks like he does. Yep. <laughs> well, they're checked before they fight, so we know they got groin cups on. That's a requirement: groin cups and mouth guards. They're trying to stand a little bit here and strike, but. Uh, Nice attempt for a high kick there. That's nice a leg kick. Uh, yep. Once again, Brad looking for that takedown after his leg kick. Gus doing a good job getting that underhook, but there's that. He got out of that leg sweep. Watch the guillotine there, Brad. You got your head there where you don't want it. Oh, I think. That's nice a good attempt by, by Gus to reverse it there, but he didn't quite get it. You so. know, but what Brad did there, he swung one side, Gus defended, and then Brad attacked the leg that went to defense to get that single That's leg right. takedown. That or that single leg sweep. Take down. Yeah, single leg sweep. Well, he's on top again. Let's see what he can do. He was pretty tired uh, at the end of the last round, but uh, he's getting some punches going again. Obviously, Gus is going to start looking for some... Uh, some positions here. Maybe he's gonna look for a sweep, or perhaps he's looking for another armbar. He's bar looking there. for another armbar. He's gonna keep that open. But he's gonna keep that base guard. And he's gonna keep it open so he can move his legs around pretty quick. He's not gonna lock him up. He may be a little bit limited with the with the fence here, with the cage. Yep. Um, sometimes when you get up against the cage, there you can't use your. There goes oh, that armbar. Good one. He's got a good one. That's there. nice and deep. But you know, there you go. Brad pushed himself into it, which he needs to do. If you push yourself away from it, you're in trouble. He pushed himself into it. He's trying to stack up Gus. The fence might be uh, hampering Gus a little bit there. I don't know exactly how he is. Well, Brad's turned him a little bit to the fence, so it's making it a little yeah, bit more make challenging. It a little more difficult to get that arm, but pull that armbar off. That was smart on Brad's part for sure. And he's he's staying forward on Gus, which he needs to do to get that arm out. And the arm is free now, of course. But every time he stands up, every time he tries to stand oh, up, Gus goes to that armbar again. That's so deep. That's deep. Brad needs to go back into it, which he does by slamming him down. 
irregardless, I know that arm is going to feel it tomorrow. You can't be stretched around like that without a little bit of stress on those joints. It's kind of a catch-22. Brad's got to push forward to keep that arm bar out there, but when you push him forward, you're opening yourself to that triangle yeah, choke, which we, right. we've seen Gus is real skilled at that triangle choke. Yeah, Gus is doing a good. We lost the mouth guard there. He's going to keep it going They're until there's not... Going. They'll keep it going until there's an opportune time to put the mouth guard back in. Keeping some good pressure here. Yep, we got some pressure. All right, we've got some wild crowd yeah, members out here. Kind of here we go. So Gus is trying to hook it around the head again. Yeah, he's looking for arm bars. He's looking for triangles, but he's kind of getting stacked pretty good now. Now Brad's low, lowering the boom with a few of those good punches. He's got a pretty good right from the top there. He's based oh, out real good. He's got to move, Gus. You better get out of there. You're going to be... He's holding Gus's head down, which he can do. Gus is taking a little bit of abuse here, but Gus, is a, he's a tough kid. He'll be all yeah, right. He's a tough kid, and he's looking for those arms again. I don't think he's going to be able to do it with that fence. You know, Scott, you got to ask your question. He's tried this arm bar probably 10 times in this, in this match so far. When do you try to move to something else? Because it's obvious that Brad is okay well, dealing with this. The funny thing is, you try it 10 times, and the 11th time it works. So yeah. sometimes you look at it that way. If that's his battle plan and that's what he's good at, he's going to be using that a lot. I think he's good enough to work the triangle and the armbar, but he just hasn't found it yet. And I know one thing, Brad is really fighting it, but his hands, have, his arms got to hurt. Yeah, but he, but Gus has taken some huge he's shots with that. This is looking bad in the judge's eyes. Yeah, that right hand is finding a home every time he picks it up. He's trying to pass guard, trying to pass guard, but we're... Still kind of caught up against the fence a little bit, and I'll tell you, Brad's unloading some good rights on him. Well, Gus has got that open guard now we talked about earlier, and Gus really needs, in this situation, he's get his knees in between he and Brad. He's getting because that open guard allows Brad to just punch away yeah. at his face, especially as Gus starts to tire out a little bit here. Brad's got Gus stacked against the fence. Gus has got one butterfly in. He yeah, really needs to get the seconds. other one. He really needs to get the other butterfly Not in. Real time to do anything now, ladies and gentlemen, but. Uh, I think Brad might have won that round. Yep, I'm going to give that one to Brad for sure. The first one, I probably gave it to Gus. You gave it to Brad. Second one, we're both giving it to Brad. Well, could be anybody's fight, huh, John Paul? We're going to a third great round, Scotty. Great action, though. These guys are really fighting some good ground and pound. Yeah. You know, but but not for lack of effort. Gus is really trying to pull off that arm bar, and you never know what. He, he really is. He's getting a little tired in this third round. If he lets that arm out there again, Gus might get it. He might. He might. But, you know, I'm, I'm just not that optimistic about it because Brad, is a, he's a heavy upper body guy. He's got a lot of ma muscle. He's got a lot of mass. So he's able to drop all that weight back down on that arm bar and That's curl true. that arm up. And once that arm starts to curl up, it's hard to straighten it back out yeah, again. it's true, especially when you're up against the fence like they've been part yep. of the time here. Yep. I see uh, Travis, Gus's coach, giving him some encouragement there, letting him know. They're tired, but they're not breathing real hard, so I bet you they're going to have a little bit left, especially if the crowd gets into it. Crowd is getting amped up. Brad's getting the crowd amped up. Brad is ready for a round three. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Round three. Anybody's fight? Brad Watford originally out of Whitefish, fighting out of Williston now with with the uh, Williston Warriors and Gus Nolte with the Straight Blast Gym International out of Kalispell. He's an original Bigfoot product. We have had toe-to-toe, -to -toe, uh, a lot of good ground and pound, and a lot of grappling, and a lot of, uh, a lot of good stuff. All right, here we go, Scott. And slip in there. It's pretty slick in there. Good kick. Gus fires back a couple hands. Here we go again, down to the ground, like rounds one and two for the most part. You can really see Brad's wrestling background. He's kind of can yeah, take Gus a, down at will. He's really, really, really a strong grappler. But here we go again. Gus is looking for these arm, uh, arm bar attacks, and he's looking for his leg triangle attacks. And You know, and some of the folks out there, they might see this as kind of a, you know, maybe this, this match isn't moving real fast, but both these guys are real strategic. They're looking for opportunities here. Brad being a little more ground-and-pound guy. 
Gus is looking again for that triangle. Boy, Gus has got to get out of there. You can only take so much. You know, that triangle is just not deep enough. It's not, that shin is not perpendicular to his spine, but if he lifts his hips up, he might be able to pull it off, but it's a little bit loose. Yeah, and Brad, Brad is turning his body the right way to de deflect that power of that choke. So yes, he, he is. Turns, turns over the top again. Now that is going to really affect Gus. Boy, those knees are hurting Gus. Those are tough knees. Oh, he tapped him. Gus tapped him out. You know, wow. I, that, that oh, triangle what looked... What a finish, John Paul. That triangle looked a little bit loose to me, but at the end there, Gus is able to throw his hips forward, and he got that top out. That was what a good a match. great fight. That was one of the best fights that we've seen in a long time. Well, we we'll look around. Look around. Everybody stand up for that. The crowd is going nuts. Well, like I said, if he can get that, get it locked in, and... You know, 11 times, 12th time will work. But what a great fight. That was definitely fight of the night. You know, Brian needs some fight for us. They did a good job out here. Yeah, real good job of, of matching these bouts. They're safe. They're always keeping an eye on having good matches. Well, that was one of those amazing finishes. Almost reminded me of that. Crowd loves it. Crowd loves it. We're looking for opportunities here. Brad getting a more ground and pound guy. Gus is looking again for that triangle. Yeah, it reminded me of the. Uh, you know, that triangle is just not deep enough. It's not the action. It's not the liquid or the style. But if he lifts his hips up, he might be able to pull it off. It's a little bit loose. Cal Sonnen and uh, Anderson Silva fight where uh, Sonnen was beating the crap out of Silva the whole fight and Silva came back with the leg triangle and choked him out. That was pretty much what happened in that fight. Brad water it. He kept it going. Kept it going. Here we go. We got some re, uh, replay here, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting down towards the, I think this might be towards the end of the round or end of the match. I have to really say... Look at the shots that, that Gus was taking there. He should have kept turning. I think he would have taken the pressure off it. Yes, he is. Oh boy, I'll tell you, what a good fight. Now look at that. Now he's tapped. He got him to the ground, pulled his posture down, and he had to tap him out. Excellent fight. Let's take our...